three of our law firm internet marketing video series. Today we are going to talk about on-page optimization. Last time we talked about keywords. I showed you how to use Google to do your keyword research. So let's say your number one keyword is Atlanta personal injury lawyer. Now there are probably going to be other keywords you want to use as well. But let's say this is your number one primary keyword that you would like your home page to rank for. So the first thing you want to do is optimize your home page for this keyword. So how do you do that? Well your home page will have two sections. You're going to have a head section and a body section. Inside your head, there is a title tag. And this is what shows up at the top of your browser when you visit your page. Your title needs to be optimized for your main keyword. In fact, this should probably be the first thing in your title. So in this case, my title might be Atlanta, I'm not going to write it all out, personal injury lawyer. And then if you want to add a couple more words, you know, car accidents, whatever, what, you know, whatever keywords you're, uh, you're using to promote your site, and then your ending title tag. And then inside your head, you also have meta tags. You've heard of meta keywords, meta description. Uh, some people say don't worry about that. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and include your keyword and your meta keywords and your meta description. Those are still used by some search engines and it's good to have those in there um, just so that there is a sense of congruency between all the information that's in your head and your keyword. Inside your body, let's say you have, or it is advisable to have an H1, which is a header tag. By default, H1 tags are very big and kind of gaudy, so you may want to use some styling to make it look better. I'm not going to go into exactly how to do that right now. But inside your H1 tag, you also want to have your keyword. So this H1 tag would also contain the words Atlanta personal injury attorney, etc. You also want to use your keyword at least once in the body, somewhere in the copy. Uh, there's a concept that used to be very important called keyword density. It's not as important as it used to be. That, that is the number of times that the keyword appears divided by the total number of words on the page. You don't really have to worry about that so much. Just make sure, well, make sure you don't over-optimize. You don't want to use the word over and over again. As long as it's used somewhere in the body and in an H1 tag, that's pretty good. Uh, beyond this, it's a good idea to have links on other pages of your site that link back to your home page that also contain the keyword. And if you do these things, if you just do these few very simple things, your page will be fairly well optimized. And there are other things to consider like, like how well the site is coded, whether it uses CSS or, or tables or things like that. I'm not going to go into all that. Uh, right now. Just keep in mind, if you use your primary keyword in the title, in H1 tag, somewhere in the body, you know, it's great if you can use it somewhere in bold. S uh, a few things to subtly uh, emphasize that keyword without overdoing it. That would do a pretty good job of optimizing your home page or any page for your keyword. So this is a super quick on-page optimization lesson. I invite you to check out law-firm-internet-marketing.net and search for our book, Law Firm Internet Marketing on Amazon.com or check us out at workmedia.net. Thanks.